But the 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 truth is is that the government had verified before the run up to the election, before mines were, were You're going to talk about the different levels that they're paying, aren't well, you? Well no, I'm not yet. Oh, well, right. I can do in a minute. But they oh. had also promised that they were going to pay back the other fifty percent. Okay. So in my meeting today with Manx Gas, I have asked that Manx Gas contact Treasury, ideally Mr Cannon, Minister Cannon, and, and, and remind Minister Cannon while he is still in charge of Treasury that that money has to be paid back urgently because we are in a situation right now where we could be looking, or we most likely will be looking at a 27% pay rise, a, a pay rise, I wish we were, a 27% increase. So the way I see it, if we were given yeah. that £100, that's, that's going to isn't it? It's gonna help us a little bit. That, that's, sure. that's an interesting thought. So uh, he's in that position until obviously the new government is formed. So you've got a week or so. They, they've got probably less than a week. So I think yeah. Mr. Cannon, Minister Cannon is going to be in a position next week where he's going to be um, trying to sell yeah, himself. Tuesday, to the country, he'll know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... Um, that's that's the first thing I said, and then the second thing I said to extend that, yeah. I, and, and I've and I've said before recently to a political member that it's that that my second idea needs serious consideration. That if the treasury, if government can reduce that interest rate on that forty-year loan. From six percent to four percent for 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 2020, 2021, whilst we we're, we're stuck in the middle of this hurricane right now, we we can reduce that for another two years. So the, the treasury can pass down another two years, so we can get another two years right. extension on that. So that would be another hundred pound to see us through. And 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 my third thing is, which is where you were trying to lead me to a second ago, is regarding different tariffs. Well, because you've got it's Noble's Hospital particularly, isn't it? They're, yeah. they're something very low, two something. So what, so, so what we what we have here is actually is actually very disappointing because I I went uh, to the meeting with Manx Gas today and um, I, I go in full of optimism and um, I suppose in many ways I'm like a, I'm like a balloon and um, you know sometimes <laughs> I manage when, when people are trying to like put, put little pinpricks in my in, in, in my bubble most of the time they they miss but today unfortunately I'm slightly deflated because what this is about. Um, Middle of this year, doesn't mean exactly, I've not got the letter in front of me. In the middle of this year, um, the Chief Minister uh, wrote to, to all Timor members uh, upon the request, I think, and don't hold me down to this, but I think it was a request from, from uh, MHK Chris Thomas to ascertain exactly what the government were paying for, for their gas use in their various different accounts in 2020. And they've got lots of accounts. And they've they got different tariffs, haven't they, basically? They have got lots and lots of but different tariffs. it's a Nobles Hospital one that you're particularly interested in because that's the lowest, isn't it? Well, that is the lowest one. So so in 2020, we have a piece of, a, a letter here which has got the Officer Chief Minister on. It was it was uh, originally signed by Chief Minister Howard Quayle. And it clearly shows on there that 2.8% is what the government were, were paying. But in actual fact, per it's term, less than that. It was actually 2 point per kilowatt hour unit. Kilowatt hour. But 2.55, uh, pence per kilowatt hour unit is what um, the average of what Nobles Hospital were burning gas for in 2020. And remind us what the domestic well, user, and there's, there's different well, we there, were, there, roughly. And we were paying, and we still are paying 7.64, but, right. and it's a hell of a big but, and it's a very unfortunate but, and you ain't going to like it, and nobody else is going to like it. I have now had it on very good uh, terms that that's. NC1 rate for Nobles Hospital is actually a variable rate. So back in 2020, uh, when we were all um, sort of thinking about all sorts of different things, um, COVID-19 included, thinking about it, that was the variable rate, the best variable rate that Manx Gas could provide gas for the government at that time. But unfortunately now, where the rates have gone up, wholesale rates have gone up by three, three, four times that, I have it on good um, knowledge that that rate is closer to 10p per kilowatt hour unit. So the, the one that was two something. So unfortunately, the, the gas bill at Nobles Hospital at the minute is extremely high. So right. I, because what I had hoped uh, was that part of my solution, which was to, which was to get that hundred pound back for 2020 and 2021, to extend that period, that reduction interest rate for another two years, which will give another hundred pound. 
but I was also requesting people in government to actually go back, revisit this 2.8, because I had assumed, and apologies for assumption, I was told even last night we mustn't assume, assumption is a dangerous thing, that that was a fixed rate. Mm. That's not, it's a variable rate. So the government's gas bills apparently, at least in the case of that one, have also gone through the roof. So we have now less scope to do anything regarding yeah. trying to stop this 27, 28% increase, and it's really not good. So what are you hoping for out of this? I mean, is it, I mean, we, let's say it's coming down today. Putin's opened a bit more of the gas Not valves. enough. Not enough, but what are you hoping to, or did you hear the right things amongst gas at all? I mean, they called um, you in, they called you in. Yeah, That's they, did, they did call me in. Like we talked about lots and lots of different things. Um, you know, I, 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 I told, expressed the best I could to Manx Gas about what I, I believe has been their, their thoughts through through time. Mm. And Manx Gas are now, seem to be very clear that, you know, they are 100% mm. behind pushing their PR to, to, to put themselves more out to customers and, and to explain exactly what they can do and what they can't do. Because so it, from what so I understand, yeah. right now, Manx Gas are reaching out to charities. Uh, they are going to contact at various different charities. I believe that's probably happening around about now. Um, I believe that there could be, uh, 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 and this is, this is just what I believe, it might not necessarily be true, but this is the opinion that I'm, I'm, I'm taking, that there's an amount of money that Manx Gas will, will, will put towards the charities to help vulnerable people if and when this increase is passed. Um, the, the Manx Gas are also open to customers coming forward to maybe come up with different forms of payment schemes and stuff like that because of course they don't want to yeah. be in that situation. I mean, this is something for them to tell us anyway, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it, 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 yeah. Re it really is. Well, but I mean, let's hope we, we hear it really is. So, Paul, I mean, to go back to what, what I would hope. I mean, of course, I hope that. Um, of course, I hope that that there would be no need for a 27, 28 percent increase. You know, I'm not sitting here mm. today as somebody who heats my home on, on on oil or anything else. I heat my home on gas. So whatever way I look at it me and my wife are going to be paying uh, 27, 28% more for our gas, yeah. possibly in about two or three weeks' time. But, but, but what we can do, what the government need to do, in my opinion, the higher people in government, they need to go back to Manx Gas and, f and the people who have the numbers, maybe somebody from the MUA, maybe somebody from the Treasury, and look closely and, and try to pinpoint numbers and figures and try to see if there's any way in the world that... that this, this 27, 28% can come down. We have to, you know, whether the government can maybe, um, maybe in increase the, 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 the benefits allowance for, for fuel, the fuel allowance, the winter fuel allowance, there's several things that need to be done. This is not going to be easy for anyone. My, my, my gut feeling is if, if you said to me, Barry, if you were sat at Timwald and you were asked to vote for this, how would you feel? Well, if you ask me that question right now, I would say to you, Paul, that the the, the people in, in, in government, in Treasury, at the, MU, at the MUA, wherever they might be, they need to go back to Manx Gas right now. And they need to fully understand and, and have Manx Gas explain to them the seriousness of the situation about and, and any ways that they can come together and for the first time in a very long time, literally bang their heads together and come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. Because what's very clear is over time, while they're arguing and, and at noggerheads about what they should do and what they shouldn't do, should they go voluntary, should they go regulatory, should this, should banding be here, should that be this, that, that doesn't do anything. The only losers of all of this, as I've said to you so many times before, is yeah. the consumer. They need to, somebody in government needs to go to Manx Gas, get the figures, get the numbers, work it all out, and then present all them figures and all them numbers to the members of Timor so they can make a, a, a calculated decision on whether or not to impose that 28%. Yeah. Now the group have already put increases in Jersey and Guernsey, which I think maybe some might actually be higher than what they're talking about here. But things surely that only the company can tell you. Is less, up. I think. Was it less? It? But that was a few weeks ago, of course, don't forget. Yeah, well, I've seen so something they, last they, night. They put, less, but they put them down weeks ago, I think. Well, they're, I mean, I, I, I haven't actually got into the, the real um, the, the, the real bones of, of what happens in, in, in Jersey and Guernsey. But from but what I do the understand, group, they're, L, they're LPG, I think. So, yeah, so yeah, we're, yeah. It, 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 okay. from what I understand again here on the Isle of Man, when this, when this increase... If this increase is approved, and it's not for me to say whether a politician should approve it or not approve it, I, I can't make, I can't come in here and, and, and be irresponsible enough to say, do you know what, if I can say it to, to, to emphasise it, stuff Manx gas. I can't be that person because no. that would be irresponsible. Look, Paul, you've known me for too long back and forward to be that irresponsible person. 
people who understand figures, understand numbers, that can actually sit down with Manx Gas and try to work out how serious this situation is and how much Manx Gas can give and how much the government can give so everyone can give a bit to give us a little bit back. 27-28%, the, 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 the truth of this is simply, is simply this. 27-28% is going to increase fuel poverty two, three, four, five, ten, tenfold on this, on this island. It's, 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 we, we can sit here and occasionally we can muster up a smile and think to ourselves, you know what, we're only talking about this. But the reality is, is that in two weeks' time, people's gas bills on a daily basis is going to go up by 27-28%. I have had, I explained this to Manx Gas earlier on, I'm a self-employed guy, I, I had a, a bad fall in January this year, I spent a lot of this year on crutches, I've had a taxi off the road, um, I have a self little self catering business that's been shut down for a large part of 2020. I've had a, a, a 12 years of a disaster. So previously in the past, I would come in here and I would say to you, do you know what, Paul? It doesn't really. Most of this doesn't really affect me. I'm not really doing this for me. But 27, 28 percent on me now is actually going to be a major, major sure. hit. You know, and, and it is, and for other people, much more. Okay.